Hello, this is the Details Flower software, and today this short video is going to go over the section that we title Details. Currently, we're looking at the event list, and in here we have two different ways to navigate into an event. One would be by clicking the name of the client, and that would bring you to a page to fill out your contact info, upload a photo of the client, and log any notes. If you click on the event name for this client, that will bring you to a page to fill out the event schedule, delivery info, or vendor team. If you find yourself navigating to this page but you still need to edit the contact info, you can click in the top right hand corner of the client's name and choose to edit contact. Now we're on a screen and on the left hand side we're giving you the options to log any notes about this event, upload a picture of your client, they do not see this picture so it is a great place for the whole team to know what they look like. Below that is an area to update any contact list. So maybe you have the main contact but you can add anyone else such as the mother or planner. On the right hand side is any general info to fill out about the client's name and any contact info to fill out their phone numbers. On that left hand side, if we click into log notes and events, this is going to bring us to an area to track any descriptions or activities. So maybe it was my first meeting with the client and on the right hand side I could be really detailed about our conversation. Once I save this entry, it's going to grab the user that had logged that info or the date and time if I had selected it. Below that, we have an area to client notes. The client does not see these notes. This is just for you to track some information. In the bottom right hand corner is the client's event. Currently, I have one event for this customer, but if I click create new event, that would put them on the event list more than once for situations like a pre-rehearsal dinner or a day after brunch. If I click into the name of the event, that will bring us back to this event page. On the left hand side, we can fill out all the event details. Below that, we have an area to give team members access. Currently, Samantha is the lead on this event, and we have added Linda as a team member who can also edit the event. On the right hand side is your event schedule. Anything that you leave blank will simply not populate on the proposal. So if you do not have that information, you can just keep it blank. Scrolling down, delivery info, and then at the very bottom, your vendor team. Once again, if you leave this line blank, you do not have to click the X to get rid of it. It just simply will not populate on the proposal. You can add as many vendor team information as you would like and customize it accordingly. Make sure to save at the bottom of the page. If you have any questions and you're on a trial with details, you can use the ch purple chat box found in the bottom left hand corner. Or you can reach out to us Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks so much and I hope you have a great day.